My name is Sam Kutzer. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and President of Golden Star Resources, a gold mining company in Ghana, situated on the prolific belt of the Shanty Gold. We have been in existence for over 15 years. Uh, the company has transformed itself from being a high cost producer to one that is focused on margin and also high grade underground mines. We're, we're currently focused on two projects, uh, which is the Wasa Underground. We've released some very interesting information on a massive growth in the resource base. Uh, and that came actually very quickly. Over a period of less than three years, we've been able to drill and bring into reserve and resources uh, a dramatic amount of increase in high-grade ounces. The other mine we have is the Pristia Underground mine. Uh, that by itself has been in production for over 100 years. It's produced 9 million ounces over a, a strike length of less than 5 kilometers. So something that's incredibly important for us to move forward. So as you can see, uh, two projects uh, fully funded and now ready to start producing and we've seen the early results uh, allowing us to re reduce the cost structure of the company. I think uh, the key points that I want to bring out is the, uh, the differentiation of the company over the last three years. Firstly, uh, the company has differentiated it from its past, being a, uh, a complex uh, metallurgical company in terms of mining refractory ore, to transforming itself to be uh, mining free gold operations with high margins, high grade, uh, all underground. Uh, the second part of the, the company is uh, a separation from what other people on the Shanty uh, Gold Belt do, and that is to mine open pits to the, uh, between 1.5 and 2 gram a ton. And we felt it necessary to look below the basement. And what we found is truly exciting, and I think that is the essence of the transformation of the company. Something that will allow the company to prosper going forward and move away from any drop in gold price. So as we announced just most recently, after we announced the dramatic uh, increase in resources at Wasa, and also based on the production rates that we see at Wasa, confirming that the, the, the ore body is easy to mine and uh, yields high productivity. Our focus now would be to do a PEA on this extension of these deep resources that you would see in one of the maps uh, that is available, uh, is to look at uh, utilizing the installed capacity. We're currently only using about 50% of the capacity at Wasa. Should we be able to prove that there is a, uh, an ability to put a shaft down? That will double the production rate of this mine. I do believe that that is possible. Uh, however, what we need to do is be diligent in our approach like we've been the last three years in utilizing the capital that's been uh, spent to the benefit of the future of this company. Secondly, we're looking at uh, uh, a rate of return for other, other targets. We have potentially five other targets that's inherent on this ore body, similar to what we did with Pristia and to Wasa finding uh, two new targets uh, in a very short period of space. Uh, we're now looking at five additional targets on the same belt to follow the same route that we did. And uh, you know, it's clear that over the last three years we've been executing according to the milestones we've given the market. We already started with the PEA on Wasa. We're utilizing the same team that was the original team that did the feasibility study or the original PEA we did for the initial part. And what's so exciting is that it turned out to be what we thought. So that team is already busy. They already have a, a very strong understanding of, of uh, the ore body. So we hope by the end of the third quarter this PA to be completed and updated to the market. Uh, I can see that the team is going through iterations, uh, some very interesting iterations, and uh, we always ask ourselves questions how to give it better uh, at what we do in the future. But the essence of it is it's a wide ore body, high grade, and the capital has been spent in the plant, infrastructure, tailings, dams, permits. We're already mining from this ore body. It's now to fill the plant with additional high-grade ore. So exciting, and uh, you know, from a capital efficiency perspective, it should be very few that can compete with that. Prestia Mine, uh, as you know, has been there for 100 years. There's a lot of intellectual property and knowledge of that uh, operation. We had to refurbish the mine. It is a different mine. It's one that is high-grade surgical mining. Uh, we've refurbished the mine. We're getting in with a new mining method, highly productive mining method. 
and uh, our next step is to stabilize and get the sequence of the of the stopes uh, in in operating order. Uh, our development rate has gone well. I can see from this quarter and next quarter going onwards that stabilization would take place. But that's not the end. That takes a 650 ton per day scenario to deliver roughly about uh, 90,000 ounces a year. You can see it's a uh, it's a great uplift in terms of grade because it's a high grade ore body just under 14 gram a ton. Uh, so the next focus would be, can we expand the throughput? What we have is installed capacity in the shaft that is available to 1,500 tons a day. Sitting at 650, you can calculate, should we be able to increase that productivity the same we've done at WASA? There's massive uplift available with no additional capital need to be spent. I'm also proud that to note that we were the recipients of the prestigious PDAC Award for Environmental uh, environment and Sustainability. Uh, that video is available on our website and I encourage you to go have a look at that. Also go and look at our CEDAR filings, go and look at some of the analyst reports that is out there. The company is moving in the right direction. But if any further information is required on the company, I would, uh, I would recommend that you contact Catherine Sutton. Her details are available on the website.